going to pass it to Helen Burke. Please take it away, Helen. Thank you, Jacinta. My name is Helen Burke, and I am a home caregiver here in Erie, PA, with a Center for Independent Living called Voices for Independence. I have been a caregiver for five years now. We, as home care workers, are organizing together to address the short staffing and workforce crisis driven by low wages. We currently call on Governor Shapiro and all elected officials to expand home care funding while also holding home care agencies accountable. I watched today's budget address with a lot of interest. As Governor Shapiro has done wonderful things thus far for our state, but so far I haven't heard him say he'll prioritize bringing caregiving to the forefront with livable wages of $20 nor have I heard him say that accountability measures will be in place to ensure that the money goes to the workers. I have had several consumers over the past few years. I currently take care of Amy, who has, a, who has cerebral palsy and needs care to do almost everything we take for granted, like just getting out of bed and going to the restroom. Amy goes to work. Monday through Friday and needs a caregiver to help with basic things like driving her to work, um, some of the office stuff that she does, filing, note taking, um, when she needs to go to the restroom or just getting her lunch. I currently earn $13 an hour, despite doing very similar work to CNAs who earn much more. I try not to think about the old days when I was a quality engineer with benefits and didn't have to rely on Medicare or food stamps. I struggled just to survive and have seen my own health decline from my back surgeries, Lyme's disease, and other complications from those. In order to increase wages so that caregivers can live with dignity and, comfort and comfortable, we need to significantly increase home care funding. In addition to increasing funding in this year's state budget, the state should also conduct a market-based analyst of rates every three years to ensure that rates are adjusted for inflation going forward. I did hear that he will increase funding for caregiving, but it seems like it's only in the intellectual and developmental disabilities programs. Shapiro announced that development, the intellectual and development disabilities programs are getting a 12% increase. That was the 215 million. And in addition, additional 54 million to address workforce retention in that area. This happened because developmental disability programs have to do a rate analysis every three years to make sure that the pay goes up with the cost of living. If home care programs had this mandated rate analysis every three years, we would well be on our way to livable wages. But instead, here I am, $13 an hour. And of course, once the funding increases, we need accountability to make sure the money goes towards care. The great news is that I work for a home care agency that is really invested in supporting people with disabilities and making sure they live independent, independently. That means they've also invested in their caregivers. We have a union at my agency, which means we negotiate with management over any new state money that's put into home care. In other words, at my agency, our union means accountability. It means the money actually goes to the care. When we won the 8% rate increase from the state during the pandemic, we sat down with management and agreed to put the whole 8% increase into every care worker's pocket. This raise helped me so much it let me pay on my utilities instead of having to choose between them or getting gas to get to work caregivers like me were called heroes all throughout the pandemic and heroes shouldn't have to be deciding which bills to pay every month my fellow fellow union caregivers and i can live with our Decide, dedicated, sorry, dedicated to increasing home care funding so that we, 
our families, and the people we care for can live with dignity and independence. I am urging Governor Shapiro and our elected officials to recognize our dedication and take action to support us. Thank you.